They're mad at you because you chose peace over drama. You chose yourself over the toxicity that they wanted to offer you. See, sometimes when people can no longer disrespect you, when people can no longer talk to you however they want, when people can no longer offer you anything they want to offer because you have a standard, they don't like it. When you choose peace over their chaos, over their issues, over the things that they want to place on you, they will automatically dislike you. You have to understand, when you want to operate from a healthier place, when you mentally, physically, and spiritually have yourself together, people who are toxic will not be able to understand while they can no longer berate you, bully you, and intimidate you into doing and being what they want you to be. When you wake up to the fact that you have self-worth and self-value and that you don't have to tolerate everybody's mess, that you don't have to tolerate foolishness, that you don't have to take the bait, people who are jealous, toxic, miserable people, they will automatically look at you as if you are a villain. You have to become accustomed to being the villain in somebody's story. For me, I'd rather be vilified for being positive, for choosing myself and choosing peace rather than falling into the trap that people set for me. You see, anytime you're trying to do something in life, anytime, anytime you're trying to better yourself as a woman, you will have other people who come along. They don't like what you're doing. They'll see that you're trying to live a different way. Maybe you had a messier past. Maybe you used to be the kind of woman who was always into something, but you chose that you want peace for your life. You no longer want to be about that life, as they say. And people who are still in that old thing that you just escaped from or people who are accustomed to you being more toxic, easily being able to manipulate you, they're going to start to treat you as if you're doing something wrong for living a better life. And when it comes to that, you have to not be afraid to leave toxic people behind. You cannot be afraid to cut people off. Now, when I say cut people off, I don't mean act like they don't exist. I don't mean, you know, mistreat people, but I mean, you have to put them as an afterthought in your thinking. I say that because some of the people that you may have to quote cut off are family members. And if this is a parent, a uh, aunt, a cousin, whoever, you might still love those people, but you're going to have to put them as a distant memory in your mind in order for you to thrive in your future. You cannot allow, my saying is, blood is thicker than water, but spirit is thicker than blood, which means if my blood aggravates my spirit, I cannot be bothered with you. If you cause me to feel tensed up, if you cause me to feel like I'm doing something wrong by living my life around you, I cannot be in your company. If you are the kind of person who looks at positivity and someone trying to live on the right path mentally, spiritually, and every other way, if you look at that as a negative, I cannot be bothered with you. Believe it or not, you have some people who are so jealous, so miserable, they'll be upset with you for being a better mom, a more present mom, a more present wife, for trying to do your very best at the things that you're doing. Some people are so accustomed to doing a half heart it, for lack of a better word, half-hearted job at life that when they see a woman who actually has standards and is trying to live her best life that she can and not just skate by and get by in survival mode because that's where a lot of haters live. A little sidebar. A lot of haters and jealous people live in struggle mode. They don't feel happy unless they're doing everything the hard way, because when they do everything the hard way, they get the opportunity to brag about how hard their life is. People who are toxic and miserable and jealous of you a lot of times, they like to brag about how hard their life is, about how if it wasn't for this, I wouldn't be doing this. And if it wasn't for me, and I've been through this and I've been through that, they live in constant victimhood. 
And when you, as a woman who is more confident and understanding that the struggle is not your end story, that you don't live in a constant state of struggle, you might have had struggles, but you don't glorify the struggle, that you understand that life doesn't have to always be so hard, that you will have challenges in life, but you don't go seeking out challenges. People who are toxic and really don't understand that they have more control over their lives than what they do, they seek out the hard way of doing things and they seek out the way of most resistance because it makes it easier for them to have an excuse as to why they could not better their lives. And thus they can continue to hate on you. When you are leveling up and becoming a better woman, you cannot allow people who have that survival mode and struggle mindset to distract you from doing the thing that you're doing. When you have discovered, especially if you have God in your life, if you have discovered that God has made a way for you to be able to have a life that does not require you to always have struggle, heartache, issues, drama, jealousy, and fights with people, when you discover that people who are still very much toxic and out there in that negative way of being, that negative energy, they are not going to like the fact that you no longer have to go through hoops and hurdles and dramas and issues in order to get the things that you need and want. You see, a lot of times life changes for you in a positive way when you get quiet. But toxic, miserable, jealous people, they don't understand that. They do a lot of talking. They do a lot of rah-rah. They do a lot of minding other people's business. And because of that, they miss out on opportunities a lot of times that God has placed before them. But you, with your newfound wisdom and understanding and your self-worth, you understand that in order to thrive, you can't be around the same people who are still doing those toxic, miserable things and has the mental mindset, has the mentality of struggle and strife. People who have the mindset of struggle and strife and drama, they can't get still enough to really get direction from God because they're too busy being busybodies and other people's issue. That's another thing that will change as you develop and grow as a woman. You will no longer be a busybody in other people's affairs, meaning you will not have time to constantly have your mouth on somebody else. You will not constantly have time to be gossiping about what so-and-so and them is doing, gossiping about what's going on in somebody else's life. You will be so laser focused on building up your own life and becoming the woman you want to become that you will not have time to entertain people who still have the lost mindset. And that's really what it comes down to. People who are toxic and miserable and instead of looking at people as inspiration, they look at them and they hate on them and they're jealous of them. They're so distorted in their thinking that they try to distract you from focusing on what you're doing in your life. And when they realize they cannot distract you, they get mad. When they realize that, oh, so you're not worrying about me, like what you're beneath this? Yes. As women, when you begin to be confident and level up in your life, you have to understand that you are, certain things are beneath you. And it's okay to say that. Drama, bickering, arguing, and fighting about nothing, that is beneath you. You have to have that mentality that, and I'm going to throw out, you know, if you've been on this channel any amount of time, you know, once in a while I throw out a scripture at you. It says, if you answer the foolishness, if you answer the foolish according to their foolishness, you become just like them. If you adopt the mentality of a person who is toxic and drama filled and they don't have anything else going on for their life, even if, and what you have to understand when I say going on for their life, a person can have a lot of money. A person can have influence, but if they do not have wisdom and they don't have the understanding on how to operate as a decent person, no amount of money or notoriety can make someone classy or a dignified person. A person who understands that living a life that is truly successful, number one, spiritually, you should have a relationship with God, but number two, 
your class and decorum and the way you carry yourself and the mindset that you have, that is what makes you more of an elevated type of person. But a person, you can have all the money in the world, but if you're toxic and you're a busybody and you're a gossip and you're jealous and miserable, that is not a decent human being. So some people like to narrow down people to the amount of money they have, where they live, you know, the clothing they wear. You have a lot of miserable, toxic, rich people. It's not about money. It's about who you are as a person. So even if the person on paper might look like they're doing better than you, they can still very much be jealous and envious and miserable toward you all because of how you carry yourself. It's not about what you have. It's about who you are. And when they see something on the inside of you that is different from them, you're not so caught up in drama. You prefer peace over chaos. They will vilify you. They will look at you and say things like, oh, you think you're better than us. Oh, you think this, you think that. They will have little battles with you that you have no idea about until you get in the same room with them. So as feminine women, as confident, wise women, it will be wise to stay away from people who are drama filled, who, who choose chaos over peace, especially when you're in a place in life where you do not want all of that drama. If you are a woman who is trying to live a more peaceful life, you will not be able to survive around people or thrive around people who are filled with chaos and drama. Protect yourself, okay? Like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. If you watch this video until the very end, put the high hill emoji in the comment section. I absolutely love to see it. Take care.